This is the T class or Tech Last X4 two in one laptop. So it means it's a laptop and a tablet. Ooh, this keyboard sold separately, just FYI. So obviously, this is trying to be a clone of the Microsoft Surface, and from a cost perspective, it's very similar to the Microsoft Surface Go. While this tech class is a bit cheaper than the basic model of the Surface Go, the specs, however, on this tech class are actually significantly better. So the tech class has twice as much RAM, and the SSD is twice as big as well, and even the processor has twice as many cores. So hopefully in this video, I can help you decide if getting this relatively unknown Chinese tech class brand is worth getting over a well-known brand like the Microsoft Surface. This computer comes pretty neatly packaged and definitely has a very similar design and feel to the Microsoft Surface Go. It comes with a charger that is surprisingly not a USB-C charger, but don't worry, this computer can still be charged via USB-C. On one side of the computer, it has an audio jack and a single USB port. There's also a slot for a micro SD card. This tablet also has a front and back webcam, which is kind of nice. And the other side of this tablet has a charging port, micro HDMI, another USB port, and a USB-C port. And you can use the USB-C port with a USB-C hub to charge and plug in external monitors or peripherals. The bottom of the tablet has magnets and connectors for the attachable keyboard. Again, sold separately. My wife actually has a Surface Pro, so I can say that the keyboard has a very similar feel. In my opinion, the whole keyboard feels very, um, very cardboardy. I will say that the actual keys on this keyboard I do like more than on my wife's Surface Pro. The trackpad is small but functional. It allows for two finger gestures like scrolling, but it does not seem to support three or four finger gestures. This computer comes with Windows 10 Home, not Windows 10 Pro. And I also want to point out that it comes with a much older version of Windows 10. It comes with the version that's so old that it forces you to use an online account if you are signed into the internet. So if you are planning on getting this or you already have this and you haven't set it up yet, don't connect to the internet when you set it up. Don't. Whenever I use this computer, I use it with a USB-C hub so I can charge it, I can use a mouse, and I can connect it to an external monitor all with the USB-C hub. The size of this 2-in-1 makes it incredibly portable and easy to carry around. And for a budget computer, I find this to be quite responsive and fast for basic tasks. So I actually tried a few different games on this and I found it to perform really great for a basic game with 3D. And with a more resource intensive game like Super Tux Cart, I found that the performance was actually still okay. It was a bit less smooth, but still kind of impressive for how cheap this computer is. So I don't really recommend this as a gaming computer, but it could work well for some of the less resource intensive games if that is what you are into. And this really does work fantastically well in tablet mode. And overall, it is really great as just a media computer if that is something that you're looking for. So what do I actually like about this two-in-one? I've got to say, if you compare it straight up to the Microsoft Surface Go, they do have a version of the Surface Go with similar specs as this, but the price is much, much higher. I think the Surface Go is like $650 compared to this like $450 computer. Or if you get the Microsoft Surface Go that's a similar price to this, then the specs on the Microsoft Surface Go just don't really compare to this. So spec-wise, bang for your buck, this is actually a really pretty impressive system. The other thing I like about this, if you are looking for a tablet or want something small and portable, this is a nice size, it's super easy to carry around. I usually use a desktop computer, but this is really nice if I'm watching TV or something and I need to do something really quick, I can grab this and use a computer to browse or do whatever. What do I not like about this? So 
I actually got this for my wife because she really likes this concept and design. She likes having something where she can take the keyboard off. I'm not a huge fan of this concept and I don't like if, if I want to use this on my lap, it's really kind of awkward to like kind of put down and like you can do it. Don't get me wrong. You can do it. It's just uh, I don't like it. That's why I'm a desktop guy. The other thing I don't like about it is aside from coming with Windows 10 Home instead of Pro, which I'm not a fan of. Why does it have such an old version of Windows 10 on it? I actually had to install Windows with a USB drive because I, I mistakenly connected to the internet and then it wanted me to sign into my account. No thank you Microsoft, I don't really want to do that. So that's kind of a bummer. Overall, this is a pretty good computer. Would I recommend it over Microsoft Surface Go? Yeah, probably. Um, I mean, you are giving up something not going with the name brand. You're not going to have the support if you need support. Um, I mean, you're not going to be able to go online on a forum and look up tech class and find specific help with this computer like you can with the Surface Go. But specs for price, this is a better system. I like it. Let me know if you have any questions about this computer. I'd be happy to answer them in the comment section below. Thanks.